Hi, I'm Alex. I'm 22, coming out of San Antonio, Texas. This is Financial Audit. Welcome up to Austin. So what do you do for a living currently? I work as a facility technician is what it's called. I work in critical environments. Hmm. Um, there's a couple companies that do it. Um, couple yeah. companies? So you're con- are you contracted to different no, companies? No, I just work for one, but there's a couple competing. Oh, yeah. okay. What do yeah. you currently make in this role? I'm making 105000 a year. Woo! You said 22? Yeah. Woo! $105,000 a year. What the f***? That is awesome. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. What do you... Wow. Okay, what do you need to get into this career path is what everyone is asking. Um, I didn't go to any kind of school. I started working at 17. I lived in Germany. Worked for a Volkswagen Audi dealership. Mm. From there, I did apartment maintenance, hotel maintenance, um, and just gained a lot of knowledge about HVAC, mechanical, electrical, which is what I deal with. Um, and part of the reason I got the job is I was just in the right place at the right time. I was yeah. buying a motorcycle off a guy on Facebook marketplace. His AC was broken. I was working in an apartment, so I had extra parts and he was like showing me the, the, um, fan on it was out. And I was like, I have a fan I can just bring you. Um, cause I'm going to come back and buy the motorcycle. And so I brought him fan, helped him fix it. And he ended up referring me for the job. And I oh, got, that's incredible. How long have you been making this kind of money? Uh, since August of last year of last year. Yep. So you must have lifestyled inflation the f- out of yourself. Like something must have happened. You've been making good money. Yeah. You, I mean, that's more money than I've. Well, mm, that's more money than I've made before this job. Uh, I think with some sales stuff, I may have gone slightly over on really good times. But, dude, at 22, I was never even, I wasn't even close to making that kind of money at 22. That's incredible. Oh, how are you possibly, possibly, why, why in your situation have you gone and just taken out insane interest rate death across the board? I want to know why you've done that. And then I also want to know why have you not paid them off? Is this is something you should have easily been able to take care of. Is your family in San Antonio? Um, no. Okay. Even yeah. still San Antonio, live, you can live relatively cheaply. Yeah. What the f- So it actually used to be worse. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It, it, it used to be a lot worse and I've been slowly paying things off this year by slowly. It's definitely could have been better. I.e. I. minimum monthly payments. Yeah, for the most part. Um, I did have a car I got rid of, motorcycle I got rid of. Um, okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to interrupt you. I'm, I'm sorry. So that means at one point you had four vehicles? Might have been more. Getting no, it was four. It was, it was four at once. That was Why? the worst I had. Um, 22, why do you need that? <laughs> I just love cars. I, I, like, okay. That's that's what I love. It's a terrible hobby to get into because it's just so well, expensive. You can do it right. There are people who do it you right. You absolutely can. I did not. Okay, this is honestly like the thing I've been most excited about for months and months and months, and I get to finally talk about it. My team and I have spent Billions of hours, it feels like, going through every budgeting course that exists online. What did we find? Well, a lot of influencers and gurus like to do quick cash grabs and not go through a lot of detail. And they barely give a variety of situations that can apply to a lot of people other than a very specific narrow few. Resources are rarely provided and thorough examples are not given of how to actually budget. So I partnered with people in the finance space who are really smart and have a lot of experience when it comes to overall finances and we created the best budgeting course that has ever existed. Hands down, compared to anything else online, we cannot find anything even half as good as what we have made. We've spent months working on this and I've spent way too many thousands of dollars, but damn, It is good. It is going to change lives. 
It is going to create generational wealth and you can take advantage of it today. It is literally going to take people who have been in a generational cycle of poverty and take them to breaking that cycle and create wealth for the first time in their life and actually manage money for the first time in their lives. And unlike all those cash grab courses out there, ours is like half the price of the average price out there. We want to make sure it's accessible to anyone, but also hoping to at least break even on the thing. I always said from the beginning, I would never do a course unless I can make it the best it can be and fill a void that does not already exist. The simple truth is, Americans, we suck at budgeting. We suck at budgeting. We've created hours of truly educational material that actually teach you how to budget, actually stick to a budget, and change your life. We're launching it today, right now, in the description below. And the most exciting thing is, even though it's cheaper than every other budgeting course out there, it's actually 10% off through this week, through Black Friday weekend, and through Cyber Monday. And even more exciting than that, guess what? The first 250 people that sign up for the course will get a free budgeting review by our team and delivered right back to you. That's your budget being reviewed personally. This is incredible, and I'm so excited to finally announce this, and you can get it in the description below. It's right at the top. I highly recommend it. Take control of your money for the first time in your life. Yeah. I, Sorry, yeah, continue. You know, I, like, when I turned 18, I got a cheap little... Uh, like $3,700 of GTI and spent more money than I bought it for in parts to modify it. Did the value go up with it? Is it? Isn't that one of those cars that no. maintains value quite well? Yeah, but then the engine blew and so I sold it. And then that happened with another car I got and... It just been kind of this endless cycle of me buying cars because it's fun and I want to. What about to. the other debts? I mean, we're talking credit cards. And um, we're just like the credit cards is just unwise spending. You make way too much money, though. I do. Are you telling me you have not budgeted ever? I have a budget. I just don't stick to it very well. Well, then that's not having a budget. To be clear, physically yeah. having. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Fi- <laughs> All right. Okay. So, okay. Give yourself a score of zero to 10. Sorry. It's just the you. Uh, it's just, I think, I think this is actually an exciting episode. I think this is going to fall down towards episodes that people have actually requested a higher income earner, but are just not doing well. And that is clearly you. What scares me is man, you're developing these habits in your young twenties, twenties. Did, where where are we in our 30s at that point if this is what we're developing in our 20s? Where are we in our 40s and 50s? Are we retiring? I don't know. You've put money to retirement. I'm actually happy where you are there at 22. It's incredible. But you've just negated the whole thing by putting yourself in... Top of the pile here is 18%. I wouldn't be smiling. I'm terrified. That scares yeah. me. Give yourself a score of 0 to 10. Maybe a 2. <laughs> yeah, your retirement's gonna be what carries you. Your retirement's gonna be what carries you. So what is this? So what is this? So what is this? Because what we have here are three of these Navy Federal consumer loans of just death, of just death. So we have what is it? Which one? Uh, eighteen percent, sixteen thousand nine hundred sixty uh sixteen thousand dollars. That's a Corvette. Okay. Well, a what? Uh, 2008 Corvette. You have a picture of it? I do. Can I see? Yeah, absolutely. I'm not a car person. I need to put this into visual for sure. myself. So we owe $16,609 at a death. 18%. 18%. All right. I'll admit that it's a cute car. If I saw it, I'd be like, that's a cute car. Okay. Yeah. I will admit that. By the way, could you email those to us? Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, minimum monthly payment, 413. These are going to add up. I already know. They do. Having obviously gone through it's, it. It's terrible. It's terrible. Why do you... You don't need this, man. Oh, okay. I okay. don't. No, no, no. Okay. Let's, 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 let's step back for a second, even though we've barely even dipped our toe into this. You make $105,000. How much was the car? Car was seventeen. 
Okay. Five. You could afford that. That's great. Yeah. I could have got you to do that in cash. Okay. You, you don't do cash. That's fine. You might have to borrow for it. Okay. You borrow for it. If we have to borrow at 18%, is this a car worth getting? I don't think so. No stock market return. No stock yeah. market return is going to beat that. So what the f*** on a depreciating asset? Well, I don't know. Corvette, is it? How well does this maintain value? Um, so care they it. kind of depreciate and then they hold value for a good while and they depreciate more. It depends on the model. This is a base model. So well, it's, it's going to be worth 17 grand for a long time. But you bought it at? 18% APR. Well, you bought it at what? Oh, 17.5. 17, 17. Yeah. Just pretty low for this car. The only issue is that I blew up the engine running nitrous. So you've so, blown up two engines? Three. What are you? What are you? I'm confused. Why? Why are you blowing up engines? Uh, I like to add power to cars and go fast. If it has wheels and goes fast. But I why like are you it. blowing them up? Like I, I so oh, this is this is beyond yeah. me. Yeah. This because I don't give a. Shit. I have a Jeep Cherokee. Yeah, I'm gonna run it in the ground. What are you doing? To- it's, it's a hobby. You break it and you fix it. It's just an endless cycle. Okay, that's that's just what so you want to break it. I, I like fixing things. I don't. So you want to break it? Want it to break, but I want to go faster. And I'm just trying to figure that out. Faster is yeah. by adding more power, and more power breaks things. If you've been using Mint for your budgeting needs, I've got some news for you. Mint is shutting down, and that means you're going to need a new budgeting app in your life. So let me introduce you to an all-in-one finance solution that I personally use, Rocket Money. Rocket Money is here to help you take control of your finances. With Rocket Money, I found a new way to manage my money effectively. The app makes it super easy to monitor my spending by category, and it allows me to create custom budgets that will send me notifications when I'm about to exceed their limits. Rocket Money has all my account charges in one place, from checking to savings to credit. Plus, they make it a breeze to find out your net worth. By linking all of my accounts in 401k, Rocket Money helps me track my net worth in real time. It automatically updates the value of my assets and remaining debt balances, giving me the complete financial picture. But here's a game changer that I I know a lot of you will be doing. With Rocket Money, you can easily cancel unwanted subscriptions with a simple tap. Say goodbye to those endless customer service calls and watch Rocket Money handle it for you. Rocket Money even attempts to get you a refund for the last couple months of unused subscriptions you were getting charged for. It's like having a personal financial assistant. And for those avid money savers out there, Rocket Money lets you set up smart savings. You choose the amount and frequency, and it automatically deposits your savings into a smart savings account from which you can withdraw at any time. So try out Rocket Money today for free, and if you want to unlock even more features, you can do that with premium. Head to rocketmoney.com forward slash Caleb or click the link at the top of the description below. Rocket Money is the better budgeting alternative to Mint and it's here to make your financial life easier. Get started today and don't ignore the importance of taking control of your money. My gosh. So, I mean, I'm just, okay. Where, where are you driving these? Mexico. This is weird, man. <laughs> I, I did not know what I was walking into. Uh, what? So San Antonio. So you drive uh, like what? Six hours south? Yeah. There's no speed limits on the highways in Mexico in some stretches. Yeah, but couldn't you get someone else killed? If I mean, and yourself. Yeah. Fast is fun. I get it. I'm, Go I'm fast an, on a roller coaster. I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie. Cool. But what about the other person's life in the highway? You go when the highways are empty. 3, 4 a.m. And you can guarantee there's not going to be a single other person because nighttime now that becomes more dangerous. There's very few people. What about uh, uh, spending a little money? Well, and well, I mean, if you manage your situation correctly, you could. What about uh, some time at a, uh, at a strip, right? The closest strip is like five hours, I think. Is it Mexico they, five hours? Something like that. Yeah. They shut down the strip in San Antonio a while back. Okay, why not go the five hours to the more safety-oriented thing? I'm just thinking of, okay, obviously I want you to live, but yeah. it just becomes a selfish thing. It becomes yeah. a selfish thing where you're doing this and putting the risk in other people. Mexico doesn't have any speed limits? Um, Some stretches of the highway there. Interesting. It's kind of unregulated. Interesting. Yeah. How are you doing this? Well, not anymore because the engine blew up. So oh, yeah. blew up. Uh, so what it does it take together? to fix that? 
too much is the answer. I need to What's take it, it to now? the machine shop sitting. Eight if I'm lucky. Um, I need to take it to a machine shop, see if the scratches on the cylinder bores are fixable. And if they are, then probably eight grand all said and done. If they're not, I'm probably in 12 for a new engine. So you keep blowing these things up. What did you have to do? I'm just, this is just for me. I, I hope it's interesting to y'all, but I'm just like, what did Osama bin Carr over there do to blow up all these engines? Uh, a lot of nitrous and a lot of boost from turbos. So the vet was a 300 shot of nitrous. It was doing a 200 okay, which uh, 200 shot adds 200 horsepower, 300 will add three. Uh, didn't like the three as much. <laughs> This was going then, on in my head. So what I'm hearing is just stupid. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what's not stupid? Hitting the subscribe button. We're trying to get to a million subscribers, and I can't believe I'm even saying that. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. You're amazing for being here. Not amazing for blowing up cars. Thank you. Because we talked about one thing already, and we've already gone down the rabbit hole of death and insanity. It's starting to blow up a little less as time goes on. Yeah, I'd go for zero blowing up is what I would go for. Personally, in my car experience, I go for my car is not blowing up ever. Might just be me. Might just be me. What is the 17.75% interest rate of death? How much is it for? 1,577. That's what's left on it. Uh, that was oh. the first car I bought. It was a Volkswagen GTI. Uh, Do you, is, does it exist anymore? Has it blown up? Yeah, it's not running and it's not worth fixing. Because actually last month I brought the balance down to $1,000. So it's like in the next paycheck I can pay it off. But to be very clear, you have these insanity 18% interest rates on things that are not operable. Yeah. They're, you can't use them and you owe 18% on them. Yep. It's like because I have a car that works and works well now, I'd rather just pay it off than spend the money to fix it. Uh, what would it cost to fix and what would it be worth after fix? I don't know what the market is on those right now. That one has like 220,000 miles and I'd have to pull the engine out and have a look at it. But How long have you owed this? I bought that car in like 2019. For So for four years, for almost five years now. No, you, 2020 was when I bought it. You have been paying at basically 18% interest rate. Yeah. Minimum monthly payment of $94. Okay. My soul just hurts. I just have a little pain. That's all. My wallet feels it. All right. What do we own in insane death? 12% on 4309 dollars. That one is a Subaru WRX. It's an other car. Yep. What's this worth? Let me see a picture. Uh I don't have one on hand of that. You have all these cars to get off to, and you don't even have a picture? I have one of the Corvette. I like the Corvette. Why do you have this if you don't like it? Because uh, I did like it, and the person that sold it to me said they rebuilt the engine, and then within about three months of owning it, it blew a head gasket. At the time, I wasn't making Did you take it to anyone to like inspect and check out and be like, yo, so I had just not going to blow? a look at it. Um, Wait, this doesn't work either? No. Because Subarus can blow head gaskets in very odd ways, and they aren't necessarily detectable when they start blowing. Um, so what they had done, the previous owner had removed the uh, thermostat on it so that the coolant would not blow out. But when the car got under boost, it would blow the coolant out the reservoir. And so eventually it just blew all the way open, and the car stopped running. At the time, I didn't have the money to fix it or a garage because I was living in an apartment. Dude, you're like addicted to this hobby. Oh, yeah. it's. I'd say it would have been more financially reasonable for me to develop a hard drug addiction than to get into oh, cars. Gosh. Well, not encouraging that. <laughs> well, I probably wouldn't be making what I make if I did that, so. 12.14%, minimum monthly payment, $141. A third car. Okay. This says Audi at the top of it. Yes. So we have a fourth car. Yes. So this one, <laughs> hear me out, hear me out. This one makes sense. 
because it's low miles. Um, for what it is, the price wasn't bad. And I actually had two Corvettes, an 89 and an 08, but I'm preparing for a move across the country, so I sold the 89. Um, what is happening? The story evolves and evolves. <laughs> And driving the 08, I was spending about 600 a month on gas because I drive about 2,000 miles a month because a round trip to work is 60 miles. And so I was like, I need something more fuel efficient. 600 a month is pretty good car payment. And having something that isn't in need of repair because it's an older vehicle and a modified one um, would be better. And so I got this car and I'm getting like 70 miles per gallon on it. 37,000 miles. What's it worth? What's it worth? Uh, I think about what I probably 22, 23 bought it for 25, five out the door. Yeah. But it's at 13% interest. Yep. So it's, it's sure it's, it's slightly dipped and it's kind of maintaining, but you're, I mean, you're losing more than the S and P gains. Yeah. So it's just like me. And also why do we have, is this one operable? Yes. It sounds operable. Yes. So one out of the four we have, Okay, so you've done two things that were quite bold today. One, you've walked into the lion's den of someone who hates debt, and we have this. Two, you've walked into the lion's den of someone who doesn't give a shit about cars and honestly kind of dislikes them. So it's just like, yeah, all right. $24,000 for the 08. $1,500 of, of interest stolen from you this year so far. Minimum monthly payment of... Oh, $505. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? You're on like, yeah, scheduled payoff date 2029, the end of this decade. The end of this decade, of course. 13% interest rate. You're making my heart pound. Like, actually, I can feel it. Oh my gosh. Should we check what my heart rate is? Like, I can, it's like killing me. Like, I'm slightly ch- shaking. Yeah, I'm at 108. <laughs> going man no kidding a jared card yeah who'd you propose to (laughs) um i bought my previous girlfriend quite a lot of jewelry on debt yeah so because it was like they do 12 months no interest and i was like i'll pay it off i didn't pay it off yeah it's accruing interest and that's why i like to finesse the system i like to do zero dollar things it's great you figure out what it takes to pay on a minimum monthly basis in order to pay it off before interest accrued and you do that and you did not do that so you went into debt for an x an x that is no longer here right in your life and you still essentially owe money for her yeah when did you break up? Uh, what's today? Oh, today is Sunday. Oh, <gasps> no. Dude, I'm sorry. It's okay. No, no, that sucks. It's uh, life. It happens. It's life. I didn't yeah. know it was so fresh it's before fun. I made... No, but you're so good. I'm sorry. No. I'm not worried about it. You have that strong outer core that you're trying to present. I respect it. But like, and when I get broken up with, dude, I'm like a mess for mm. minimum three months. It was a mutual thing. She needs time to grow and she's not ready to be in a relationship right now. So we okay. were together for almost two years, but. Well, you owe 5,123 on this card. You've made hundred. Uh, eighty-five dollar payment, but one hundred thirty-one dollars of interest accrued. Yeah. That's the killer. That's probably the worst card because that card is like thirty percent APR, oh. and it's killing me. Five thousand one hundred thirty-two dollars, twenty-four cents is owed, and uh, one hundred eighty dollar minimum monthly payment. Uh, a death interest rate. Yep. Let's see. Uh, I can't find it. It's 30% on that one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, gosh, so this is just like never going to be paid off in the way that we're going about it. Yep. Uh, personal loan for... Uh, okay, a personal loan for what? Uh, that was when I moved. Um, I didn't have the cash to pay the security deposit in first month's rent. And Why haven't so you paid it off? Well, that's not just for first it's, month's rent. First month's rent, unless, unless it's like a... Uh, 
okay, you opened it for $5,000. First month's rent wasn't $5,000. The reason I haven't paid that one off is because for whatever reason, it seems like they charge the interest all at once with the loan. So I'm not accruing interest. I'm not losing any interest by paying it off. It was definitely more of a predatory company. The original loan was for three. Have you looked into the terms though, where it's because what, what some can do is they Mm -hmm. can show interest that is like accruing. But if you pay it off, if you pay it off, like that interest, like won't be hit in the end, but it may have been in this situation. I can't see because this isn't really a statement. I remember reading the terms and I think they said that the interest accrued and that it wasn't charged up front, but I'll have to go back and see because I thought it was odd when I looked at it that it had been. What's the interest? I don't remember on that one. I can pull it up and check though. It, it's right. up there though. Well, currently you like in the twenties. Death. Currently you owe two thousand two hundred ninety three dollars ninety two cents with a hundred twenty seven dollar minimum monthly payment. Okay, so we continue. Navy Federal Card. You owed four thousand nine hundred sixty-seven. You made a hundred twenty-two dollar minimum monthly payment, which is the minimum monthly payment, which is now one hundred and twenty-three. One twenty-three thirty-nine. You purchased eighty-five dollars of things. Why? Why? And then new interest, 73. Now you're over the balance. You're over the credit limit. You're over the credit limit. You're over the credit limit. So if you're over the credit... I'm just saying the same thing over and over. That's when I know I'm just dying. Available broke credit, none. You're $3.94 over. It looked like you were going to say something. Whenever I see that card go over the limit, I pay it down. But... That doesn't make yeah. sense. Well, why don't we just pay it down? Why do we why do we go over the credit limit? Um oh. I think it goes over because of interest. Like I buy it and then it accrues interest, and then at the end of the statement, it's over the limit. Oh, 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 oh. buddy. You're killing me. I'm like actually like shaking. It's, I haven't felt this way in a long time. It's just, I'm so anxious for your situation. And it's Uber Eats and it's Uber Eats and it's Uber Eats. It's three Uber f***ing Eats. I'm disgusted. $700 in interest lost this year so far and some fees as well. It's f***ing Uber Eats. So why? Oh. You're lucky that the episode that you know, we're uploading the day of is the day that we're announcing the budgeting course Mm -hmm. and you're going to need it, man. You're going to need it. And I'm giving it to you for free. And I assigned to you as a prescription. You are taking it, man. You're going through the hours. There is no, it, it is literally the best thing you can do to change your life, man. I'd love to, you, you need to, you need to people in your situation. You need this. We designed it specifically for you. Yeah. That's the reason I came because I know it's, it's, like with the things I want to do with the cars or even like buying the Corvette. If I wasn't in debt, I could buy that car in four or five months of saving, if that. Yeah, man. And and now it's just I'm paying it for forever almost. It feels like forever. It's at 18%. Yeah. It's just I'm losing hundreds every month to interest. It sucks. You know what's unacceptable to someone making $105,000 a year? Overdrafts. You didn't overdraft this month, but you've overdraft this year so far. So I share rent and the rent payment goes. And sometimes my roommate tells me he's going to get the money and the money doesn't come. So it gets over. How often does that happen? And then how often does that happen? Way too often. Okay. So you know what happens? So you have a buffer in your checking account, like an adult sucks that he does that. Yep. Uh, and you, you know, yeah, maybe he's not a roommate for the future. Okay. But if you know what happens after a couple of times, it's like, okay, we're going to have the buffer because we're not going to pay a $30 overdraft. That's fee. what I started to do. I've just did it because I've, you only have a thousand dollars in here. Um, that's enough to cover his share of rent and your share. Uh, not, well, there you go both, but I get another paycheck before rent hits. So I, I always have enough. And no to other cover. automatic payments come out after that. Um, 
I have a car payment, but I always make sure I have enough to cover his share of rent and my share and what else I need to cover. Um, and then he, he pays me when he pays me. And then what do you do through here? You go to the vending machine. And you go to the vending machine. You're obsessed with the vending machine. Cash apping out money. Vending machine. Cash apping out money. Uh, oh, I, what's 365 pay? Uh, it's one of the... Uh, they have like a little food market at work. Food market. Food market. Um, Boba Topia. Uh, Boba, yeah, Boba Topia. And I, I lo- I'm, a, I'm a slut for Boba. Not when we have debt, my dude. Not when we have four four car debts, three of which the cars are not even operable. Natural Bridge Caverns, great. Red Rooster Food. Natural Bridge Caverns. Cash apping out money. Zelling out money. Rooster Food. Vending Machine. Vending Machine. Lens Express. Uh, the, the Food Court. Uberin. Vending Machine. Vending Machine. Vending Machine. But if we just, if, mm, oh, you have such an opportunity to be such a, such a good position. It, it makes me so sad to see it being thrown away right now. A place to shoot. It's expensive. It's an expensive place to shoot. Ammo costs money. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you just throwing away money in ammo, though, when we have debt? It doesn't make sense. Logic is just not there, man. Uh, vending machine. Grub Hub, Wing Stop, Wing Stop, Rooster Food, Water Burger, Uber Eats, Vending Machine, Vending Machine, Amazon, a firm. Great. Another thing in the mix. Oh, vending that's machine. not a uh, debt. I use a firm's high yield savings. It gives you like four points. So you put a buck in there? Some percent. Or is uh, that? That was taupe in the account. Okay. Four point what? Four point. I can. I think it's like four point three five. You so far, dude. It's 4.6. Okay. Vending machine, uh, diner, sushi, vending machine, vending machine, vending machine. You don't need to be spending that money. You're killing me. You're killing yourself. You're destroying your future. Ending balance in this other checking account, seven bucks. Yeah, that's the not the of? one I use. I only use that one to send money to it to pay the Navy Federal loans. Everything else goes through my main checking. Everything except else except for this Apple bill and the Chipotle and taking money out of the ATM. Who knows where that went? ATM fees. And, of course, tolls, of which you do not need to take in Texas. I live in Texas. I know you don't need to take them. And the, Boba Tea and Amazon. The toll road's a story, actually. Um, so I sold a car um, and left the license plates on. Oh, oh no. The car never got re-registered. Ever. <laughs> and so I get a toll letter and legally I'm still responsible for it. And I tried submitting a title transfer notice and the car won't show up in the system for whatever reason. And they also went and ran a red light with it too. But, and they got caught in a red light camera. You don't have to pay those. <laughs> They can't come after you for them. They can't send them to collections. They don't affect your Wait, insurance. red light cameras where? In San Antonio. They're legal in Texas. They are. But the contracts, they still have contracts with the companies up until, I think, like 2025, They just can't legally go get them. Okay. They can't legally pursue them, though. They just hope that people pay. <laughs> yeah. That's it. And then the... Oh, not even that, dude. Then Chick-fil-A and pancakes. I thought that was it. And then Apple Bill, Amazon... The, the f***ing vending machine, vending machine, Chipotle, pizza, Academy Sports, Uber, a place to shoot. Again, $287. You can't afford to live and you're doing $287, a place to shoot. Then another $130, a place to f***ing shoot. Vending machine, vending machine, Apple Bill. It's a Mexican place, Apple Bill, Amazon. Dude, you lied to me. I put money there so I can pay off my Navy Federal credit. First of all, your Navy Federal credit thing is over the limit. And number two, in there is just you spending, you spending, you spending. You lie. Don't me. What's the point of here if you're going to bull me? Why, dude? I'm sorry. Just why? I just feel like I always got to do something. Got to go 
be busy. I don't like being home. Why don't you go on walks? Go on like runs or something. That'd probably be a good idea. Do you have a dog? I do. I have two. Take them on walks. That's what I do. To a dog park. That's doing something. Yeah. That's nice. I take them to the dog park next to the house. Cool. Um, there's a... Uh, do that twice as much. A nice one. In oh. this half as much. Okay. Fidelity, 3000 bucks. Not super exciting. It looks like it's within... It's this? for... That one's for an HSA. Oh, okay. Cool. That's lovely. Yep. And then the other one is the 401k. 4000 bucks, so... Yep. It's okay. I'm glad you're getting started. Yeah. There is, you're going to hate this. There is a 401k loan on that though. Um, the reason I took that loan out was because I anticipated to move across the country because I had a company that reached out to me and wanted me to go work in Virginia. Um, and I need to get a trailer hitch and pay for a U-Haul. You uh, make for too my much car. money. What's the interest rate on your 401k loan and how much did you take out? 9% and two grand. 9%. 9%. So the S&P 500 is beat it by 1% this year, if that's what you're even investing in. The 401k loan at 22 is disgusting. It's disgusting. I feel the vomit. Ready to projectile onto you because of how disgusting this is. 9%. Your future, man. You're destroying it. You're destroying it. Oh, f I'm scared. Okay. I don't want you to be a f And we constructed these rules to not be a f You're breaking in. Breaking rule number one immediately. Does that fit in the budget? Absolutely not. Rule number two. You need an emergency fund. Do you have it? I didn't see it. Do you uh, have any money in savings? Keep $1,000 cash. Okay, you do not have an emergency fund. Great. Don't hold the credit card balance. You know you broke that. So you broke one, two, and three. Stop buying cars you can't afford. No sh You're getting them 18%. You can't afford that. My goodness, you broke immediately the first four rules. Live someplace you can actually afford. What's your portion of rent? Seven fifty. That's incredible. That's incredible. You're doing great with work, too. So that's great. School, we don't need to worry about that because you're doing great with work. You're not self-employed. Fantastic. Subscriptions, I didn't see a bunch, but you should cancel um, them if you have them. Okay. Want to know how to not die in the Walmart floor? This is usually for like f***ing crypto and like day trading and all that crap, but you're doing a 401k loan. May as well be broke. So you're breaking five rules of do not be a f***. I don't want you to be a f You're heading down the path. If you want your rules for not being a f up, you can sign up in the description below. It's free. It's fun. I made it for fun. I don't like that you're breaking the rules. It's actually very upsetting. Debt payments are only 14% of your spending. You're like, oh, my monthly payments are too big and I can't do things. It's 14% of your spending. So, uh, Transportation total, though, that is another 16%, and that does go into debt. But your bullshit eating out to eat, 7.1%. Where your necessary grocery shopping is only 4.2%. So, great. Unknown shopping, Amazon, 5.4%. Miscellaneous, it's the vending machines, it's the taquitos, it's anything and everything else that you just don't need, 8.3%. That could be going towards that. So, so far, that's 8, 7, 5. That could be going towards debt. That is not necessary. 8.9%, other large purchases. That's ATM withdrawal. Who knows where that went? And central market, which is actually groceries. So I don't know why we put that there. Uh, central market. It's an expensive way to do groceries. It's basically the HEV version of yeah. Whole Foods. Just, just making some steaks for a date. Cool. Because some HEV steaks. They're not as good. They're not as good. Central It'll be okay. Market has better cuts. I don't know if she'll know the difference. She does. Is because that the one I, that broke up with you? Uh, it was mutual, but. Gave her some, okay. uh, but it's that one. Yeah, gave okay. her some H E B steaks. So and she noticed a difference. No offense to this, or no offense to you. Looks like it didn't make a difference. <laughs> that was mean. I'm sorry, no, but you're not wrong. I mean, <laughs> call it how you see it. That's the only way I live life. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the most disgusting debts I've ever seen. Right. 
Yeah, you're going to take that. I'm sending it to you. I'm sending it to you. And you're going to take that course, dude, because you need to change your life now. But I'm going to help you put together a rudimentary budget as we do on the show. But is there even a point? I mean, that's honestly my question. I ask people that sometimes because I'm actually curious. Is there even a point of making you a budget? Just the way you've lived, man. It's just like, we go get another car. We got to go do this because I got to go do something. It's just like, if I make you a budget, man, you've made a budget before. You've never followed it. Well, that's one of the reasons why we made yeah. the thing. So you can actually, we teach people how to actually stick to it and well, follow it. But a lot of it is with the eating in terms of the budget yeah. um, and going to the range that's not in the budget. Those are the two categories I overspend, but the past year I've paid off a pretty significant amount of debt. How much? Um, you weren't putting anything extra on this? N- I didn't see it. N- not on We're going those to the boom booms instead. Yeah, I can I can show you I've made $500 payment on that $1500 loan on the GTI. Um, last month, it was like right after Right, and that's why we put ended. it down to a thousand. Right? Mm-hmm. So, um, okay, what have you paid off? I last month I also paid off a nine hundred dollar balance on a credit card. Um, I don't know if it was last month or the month before that, but I paid off like another eight hundred dollars. I had like two cards with credit one that were totaled like thirteen hundred dollars together, and then the Spire oh, card geez. that was nine hundred dollars. So you've had you had and even it, more debt. Yeah, my I paid gosh. all of those off. You've put um, yourself into a situation. I, I can be happy about that. Be, yeah. um, we can be happy about that. Not to just go negative, but I will say with the income you're doing and where like 30, 40% of your money was going and the choices you're making, with the income you have, buddy, you could have tripled what you did. Yeah. Tripled. You're extending your situation. You're borrowing against your 401k. You're preventing yourself from living life. Yeah. Your portion of rent, 750? Mm-hmm. And then car insurance, I pay three hundred. The insurance bill is like five, or I pay two fifty. The insurance bill is five fifty. My roommate and I share insurance, so we both for car insurance. Place. Yeah. Why he drives your cars? No, it saves us both money. You're on them together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he has a car on it. The Corvette isn't insured right now because it's just sitting in my garage. Um. Audi's insured, and then he has a car on the insurance, so we just pay for that. Rental's insurance? Yeah, 16 something a month. It was lemonade. It should be on one of the bank statements. Your portion of utilities and internet? The utilities is included in rent. Wow. Um, San Antonio, cheap. Well, it's three of us in a house, and it's a pretty big house, but yeah. it's, it's not too bad. Internet? Uh, 55 a month. Gas? A uh, hundred and forty. Usually between hundred and forty two hundred is what I spend. Yeah. Any ongoing uh medical things that you're paying for prescriptions, anything we should put in the budget? Okay. No. Yeah. I've been um, trying to take steps in the right direction and gym? slowly been doing that. No. I have a home gym. So I okay. work out at home. I saw a planet fitness in that, huh? Might be something you need to I cancel. need to go cancel that, yeah. Okay. I just wasn't going to call it out because I'm, I'm like, Jim, I'm happy to put in the budget. But yeah. No, okay. I just need to go cancel that one. Groceries, 300 Toilet paper, anything else you need to survive, essentially, 100 Uh, 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 uh. Phone bill? Uh, just 122 Anything else you have to take care of on a monthly basis? Do you mind if I pull up my financial? I obviously have to add up your debts, but yeah, go ahead. All right. Let me double check real quick. Let's see, car insurance, phone bill. Phone bill is 127. Uh, I have a subscription to, you said to cancels. Okay. Uh, no. You can put your subscription in your toilet paper fund if okay. you have anything left over. Yeah, That's I can essentially that what I allow. Work. Then debt, no surprise, and it's all going to f- stupid cars. One thousand five hundred eighty-four dollars. <laughs> Killing yourself, man. Yeah, I've been all trying right. to take steps in the right direction. It's just slowly breaking bad habits that I've had since I was eighteen that just snowball.
I'd sell what I can, obviously, when it comes to the car stuff. I'd do all yeah. that and try to do what you can. But just because they're broken and there's a lot of stuff, let's just put it in the situation and let's just go from there. But that would speed up the process. Yeah, absolutely. So you do not need this stuff. $3,322 is what you need to survive. Um... We had income coming in at 7644 Yep. Cool. Sounds about right. And this is why, again, you follow my budget. Use the... This is what I want you to do, though. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I want you to... Uh, in the uh, template that we have that we're going to give you yep. uh, in, in the budgeting course, I want you to use that. Actually use that on a monthly basis, man. Hold yourself accountable. Okay. And it's going to show you things. And I, you rate your priorities on the items that you're spending in your budget mm -hmm. so you know what you can cut back on things that aren't giving you pleasure. Yeah. Not pleasure. Uh, but like, you know, actual like happiness. Yeah. It's like a happiness skill. It's a really good way to budget. I want you to do that. I want you mm -hmm. to follow it. And if you put in these categories like the way I said, man, mm -hmm. I mean, dude, it's extra $4,322 a month. There's no, no, no reason why you should have this debt and to begin with. And there's yep. no reason why it shouldn't be paid off. Yeah. It's disgusting. First month, put a half of it towards that $1,000 that you already put aside. Um, let's, just call, let's just call it the end of this month. Okay, okay cool. You have a one-month emergency fund. End mm -hmm. of this month. Starting fresh, next month, Volkswagen, as you said, paid off and then pay off a uh, 401k loan and put a thousand dollars to the personal loan. Okay. Okay. Month number three, step right up, paying off the rest of the personal loan and putting $3,000 towards WRX. Month number four, finish WRX. Put 3000 bucks towards Jared. Next month, put 2000 uh, um, Are we on month number six? I think it's five. I do M have month a, number a question. I am saving for a move. Mm. Um, How much I is the move going to be? And why are you moving? I have a job offer. How much are you going to make? Uh, same as I'm making now, just half the days. Where are you moving to? Virginia. Okay. Yep. Cost of living is going to be a little bit higher. Yep. Um, but I'm just going to rent a room in somebody's house. How much house. is the move? I'm thinking about just taking a 6 by 12 U-Haul and the car. So really all I'll have to pay for is the the new place because the company is going to reimburse up to seven grand. Oh, I can't yeah. happen under seven grand. I just but need to have gonna, the money you, you up gotta front. Have money. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So add two months for that. Okay. Add two months at the beginning. So we're heading into five. We're so, so we're heading into month number seven now. Okay. Then. So yep, do that first. That's and then fine. I should have a pretty good tax return this year as well. Okay. Um, I'm getting a four thousand dollar credit for the buying the Audi, um, because it qualifies for used clean energy vehicles. It's electric. Um, it's a plug-in hybrid. So I can get 16 miles. Well, range. obviously put that towards the inner look salad, yeah, but we're headed yeah, into month course. number seven right now. Pay off the rest of Jared, 2000 bucks and then 2000 bucks put towards Navy federal. And then the next month pay off Navy federal with 3000, put a thousand towards uh, the 2008 Corvette. That time that's going to be around, let's just call it. And that's we're headed into month number nine. Say that's worth about 12,000. And you have about 5000 bucks left over on a monthly basis now. It's mm -hmm. going to take 2.4 months to pay off that. So let's just round up. Say we're headed into month number 11. The Audi is there. The interest is probably like $20,000 left. Probably about 1000 20000 Divide that by about 5400 Okay. And then that's about four months. So let's just say conservative, conservative, mm -hmm. a year and a quarter. You should yeah. be able to pay it off year and a quarter. And then what I need you to do from there, your rent's going to be more. So let's just consider the 3,322, what you need to survive anyway, because your cost mm -hmm. of living is going to go up, even though debt payments are going to go down. 
Okay. Times that by six. We need to get, let's call it twenty thousand dollars saved up for a six month emergency fund. Five thousand at that time, five thousand five hundred dollars. It'll take an extra three and a half months to do. So again, let's just be conservative. Yeah. Let's call it a year and a half. Mm-hmm. There is no reason why if you actually, you know, grow up about this and discipline yourself. A year and a half, man, in your life is changed completely and you're 23 24 it's insane 23 24 and you get to 23 24 and let's just use the average stock market return going to 65 uh, 64 let's make it easy 64 so 40 years average stock market return from the history of the united states eight percent uh, you already have four thousand hours in the stock market. It'll probably be like six thousand hours by that time, just with the contributions you're doing, whatever. Okay. According to the survey I ran, thirty-three percent of you are not investing. So I don't know if you just want me to yell at you or if you're genuinely unsure of how to get started. Either way, you need to know about the brokerage app that I personally use for my single stock picks. And that's Moomoo, a brokerage platform that makes it super easy to go from a total beginner to a well-informed investor. Similar to basic brokerage apps, Moomoo has a super user-friendly platform that can be accessed either from your phone or on a desktop. However, unlike most platforms, Moomoo provides you with a much more in-depth look into international stocks, bonds, ETFs, and more. And speaking of ETFs, I love how easy they make it to research all of the different ETFs that are available on their platform, which in my opinion makes it much safer and more simple to invest my money. And whether you're a complete beginner or are just hoping to take the next step in your investing journey, Moomoo has free classes for you. They have things like how to read an earnings report and a lot of other lessons that are designed to help you learn the valuable lessons that most go to college for. And to help you get started, Started, Moomoo's offering my audience a welcome bonus of 15 free stocks when you make your first deposit with the link below. I did many months of testing of this app to see if it's something I actually wanted to recommend to you all, and I can honestly say that I love their analysis, their education, and I use them for my single stock pick. So check it out; it's pretty cool. So 20%. You're doing 20% on a monthly basis. Um, you might max out your 401k. Uh, okay. I could. Um... With the new job, they're going to let me work overtime. And Good. so I should be able to hit somewhere between 130 to 160,000 a year. Let's just say you're putting in 1,900 on a monthly basis, which is the minimum you should do. You're retiring at $6.7 million. Yep. $6.7 million or after inflation. I mean, that'll be after inflation about like $3.3 million yeah. in today's money. That's incredible. Mm-hmm. $3.3 million following the 3% rule. My goal is to retire by 45, and Oops. that's part of why I wanted to come here. Um, okay, well, that would be $100,000 a year for the rest of your life, but 45, okay. <sighs> well, you're talking, you're, okay, so you're talking a little more fire situation. Yeah. Uh, With the job I'm doing um, and how young I am in it and how Yeah, but you actually have to sacrifice and pay off your debt first yeah. and get a fully funded emergency fund. Okay, so what... What, how, how, how much do you want to make a year to survive? What do you need to make a year to survive in your mind? To retire? Yeah. Or? A year. Pulling from your investments. I think about 150. 150. I can't I believe we're do. even having this conversation because you're not even close to being in the conversation of fire, but I'm going to humor it. Okay, so you need $5 million. And this is regardless of what Dave Ramsey says, by the way. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> according to Dave... <laughs> You could uh, have 1.5 million. No, you could have about 2 million bucks and uh, withdraw 8% a year because you'd be getting 12% in your mutual funds, which apparently he doesn't consider the actual management fees on that. And then he considers a little bit of inflation. But either way, the statistics that I have uh, using just a basic, very basic thing, if you retire for only 20 years, his plan's going to fail six or only succeed about 60% of the time. It's going to fail 40% of the simulations based on historic returns in the stock market. But if you retire for 30 years and you're going to be retired for more than 30 years, his uh, 8% withdrawal rate fails 
fail uh, succeeds only 32% of the time. 30%, 32% of the time. Now, Sounds a four like a car loan I'd take. What? Sounds like a car loan I'd take. Okay. Yeah. So a 4% used to be the rule that succeeds like 95% of the time. Mm -hmm. People just want to be, you know, obviously safer and just want to hit that hundred percent, hundred percent in order to hit that hundred percent success rate, uh, using simulating, uh, all historic returns in the United States, you got to do 3%. So 3%, you need to get to, what did we say? 5 million bucks. So 5 million bucks by when? 45? Yeah. Why am I even entertaining this? Cause right now it's just so scary. Whatever. Okay. Let's say you, you're done by 24 because you actually follow what I say. So you have 21 years left. You need to get 4.5 or five. You need to get to five, 7,000 or uh, where was that? 7,750 is what you need to contribute on a monthly basis, which is more than you make currently. So yeah. I, I don't know how you're doing it unless you're working more jobs. I'm planning on picking up a, a second job. Um, my buddy is doing solar sales, which is something I can do on my off days. Um, but it's all taking hot leads through calls. Yeah, no, I would, uh, he's been doing pretty well with how many hours a week are you going to work in your new job? Um, it's not, you make your own schedule. How many hours a week are you going to work? Starting, I'm probably going to do 20 to 30 and depending on how well it does. What is the job? It's, a. basically sit, take hot calls, hot leads um, from people who are inquiring. Is it commission solar. based? Yeah. No, 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 no. No, in your job, you're moving oh, for how oh. many hours a week are you working? Um, About 40 hours, but I work three or four days, 12 hour shifts. Cool. Why so don't you, three or four days why don't you find a similar job that is less paying even and just go do that for the other. If you're doing fire, I can just pick up shifts. Usually, yeah. usually yeah. I then can pick, pick up shifts. Up shifts. Yeah. Work as many hours if okay, because yeah. we're talking about fire. Normally, I say okay, get out of that, have a fully funded emergency fund, then mm-hmm. live 50, 30, 20, 50 percent on needs, 30 percent on wants. Actually, you're living 20 percent on investing, so you can mm-hmm. retire. But you're trying to fire. If you're trying to fire, man, you're gonna have to continue the sacrifice for 21 years. Yeah. You're essentially not go- people fire at like a million five, two mm-hmm. million. You're trying to fire up 5 million in 21 years. So you're going to have to work your ass off and you're honestly not going to really live the next 21 years, which is, that's hard, man. That's really difficult. But if that's what you want to do, this is what you have to do. Yeah. With my current job, um, I will most likely be a manager before 30. And in the sector, I'm going to be working in management for these places can make usually 200 to 250 a year. I hope so. I root for it. You're betting on that, but I don't know. You're 22. Yeah. So you don't, uh, you've been working since 17. You've been working since 17. What? I love the golden, like vision, optimistic, bright eyed. Yay. Things never work out the way you're going to think they're going to work out. There's always going to be bumps in the road. Absolutely. Uh, so I wouldn't bank on that. I hope you get it. That's great. And I encourage you to shoot for that and make that your goal and work, do what's necessary to do that. Just know that the next 20, if you want to hit your actual goal, it's like your needs need to be very minimal. You're not going to really spend much, if any, on fun and everything's going to go into investing. Because again, mm-hmm. you have to do 105% of your current income Yeah. to meet that goal. Mm-hmm. For 21 years. That's hard. Either way, I'm glad that was a, it was a fun part of the conversation and I'm glad we can at least get there now. Oh, maybe the market will outperform and, and you know, that could happen. Maybe, I mean, the average S and P 500 return over the past decade has been like 12%, yeah. but the average stock market return in the history of the United States has been like 80, eight, 8%, 80%, would be crazy. 8%. So that's what I went off to mm-hmm. be a little more conservative. Yeah. But, Either way, none of this is even a part of a conversation because you head down the path you are con- currently going down, and you're f- I'm gonna work. You're until dying. I die. up. Yeah, and you're working till you die. And what if anything happens and you're just settled with the death and you're going through bankruptcy? At least you don't have student loans, which can't, which wouldn't get forgiven. So, yeah. but only having a thousand dollars is fine. I don't know. It's a scary situation. You keep blowing up your cars. You're just being immature and irresponsible. And of a twenty-two year old, it's like okay kind of ex- not excusable but at least at least understandable if you have the goals you said you have and you want to go and get them 
It's time to grow the f up, mature, be an adult, be a big boy, and take control of your financial situation for the first time in your life, man. This is it. This is your moment to change. You started making a little progress. You should have been making much more progress. Those spending statements were ridiculous and they pissed me off. Barring against your 401k, unacceptable. Buying a car, taking on an 18% debt, blowing it up, and then doing it again three more times. No. Fix it. Fix it. Any questions? Any final thoughts? I want to get the vet running. That's I want to put a new engine in it, which adds another two or three months. But what the f how is that even possibly on the priority list of what we just all right. No, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. That's the first I go through this and we get through the how to fire and all this stuff. And the first thing you give about is your Corvette. I'm done. Let's, let's I'm done. Let's let's finish it. Well, we're done. We're done. That's that's I had to cut that interview off. That that pisses me off. That pisses me off. If we go if I go through all that time and energy and work and caring about someone and wanting them to succeed, and they immediately come. No, but I, this is what I want at the end. A want an unnecessary want. Nah. That legitimately upset me. Hammer financial score, spending and budget, obviously zero out of ten. Debt, 401k loan, obviously zero out of ten. Emergency fund, there's a thousand dollars, that's a one out of ten. Retirement. I wanted to give it a higher score for his age, but the 401k loan brings it to a 1 out of 10. Real estate, 0 out of 10. It's going to be a Hammer Financial score, 0 out of 10. Make sure to check out all the resources linked in the description below. They are what I use or would use in specific situations. Thanks to all of our Patreon producers for making this episode possible. If you want to participate in an episode of Financial Audit and you're able to make it to Austin, Texas, please fill out an application in the survey linked in the description below. You can also send a link to your friends or family who you think might be good to be on the show. If you have any questions, you can email casting at calebhammer.com.